next stop, an awareness journey aboard Line 1, from San Zaccaria to Arsenale. The whole walk that starts from San Zaccaria is called Riva degli Schiavoni, and not because slaves were traded in Venice, but because here the galley is docked with Slavic sailors who came from the other side of the Adriatic, mainly from the Serbo-Croatian areas that were part of the Republic. These populations had a very close bond with Venice and absolute loyalty, so much so they were nicknamed the most loyals of St. Mark. The iconic Danieli Hotel is proudly displayed along this route. The imposing equestrian statue is dedicated to Vittorio Emanuele II, the first king of Italy and represents, on one side, Venice subjugated, with a lion trying to bite and break the chains, and on the other side, the triumphant Venice, to represent the city liberated from the Austrian-Hungarian occupation. The church that appears before our eyes reminds us one of the most famous Venetians, Antonio Vivaldi, known as the Red Priest, who worked here and taught a choir composed only of girl orphans who, thanks to this opportunity, could redeem themselves from the misery in which they grew up and obtain a dowry. The church is dedicated to Santa Maria della Pietà, and the whole area was used for the care of orphans who were deposited here through a revolving door. Nearby, the Schiavoni had here their Brotherhood headquarters dedicated to St. George and decorated by Carpaccio, while the Church of the Greeks, also dedicated to St. George, is an important and lively center of the Orthodox community. The iconic Leaning Bell Tower will show you the way. The Church of San Francesco della Vigna is another work of art by Palladio. The Arsenale is unfortunately only open for events as location for the Biennale art exhibit, but the monumental main door is worth a visit. Next stop, Giardini, 